Yeah. And and you know Shirley MacLaine, what what a fa- what courage back then, out on a limb. Come right. on, you know. Right. And that's what we're doing. We're going out on a limb here. Yeah. Brilliant. When I had my experience nearly four years ago, I didn't talk about it to anyone for over a year. Mm. Why? Because I didn't want to sound like a nut. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I sure you. Did you have those battles, George, when you... All the time, constantly, Mm -hmm. throughout my life. And even now, Gary, if you look at the um, establishment of the 4D paradigm on Earth now and all the healing modalities, and they they are wonderful for that paradigm. They are wonderful. Uh Uh, Once you move beyond that paradigm, though, you see it for what it is. And just like we've been discussing the battle of good and evil in the 3d arena well it, it's on for young and old the battle of dark and light and good and evil in the 4d arena as well it's just a more sophisticated version of it uh-huh. that's all it is well it has an additional and, dimension right yeah and and you know the t and the things that i'm sharing the messages i'm sharing now is exposing that but so many people are entrenched they've they mm-hmm. removed themselves from the 3d arena and have now gone into the 4d arena the issue is once they've gone out of the 3D arena, they think they've made it and they've found home. Uh-huh. And it may be, you know, because that's their journey to stay in that arena now for some time. But I'm, I'm getting a lot of, at times, resistance and people who are dis... Um, oh, what's the word? Oh, I can't find it at the moment, but not happy <laughs> um, with me and what I have to say because I'm exposing that whole paradigm and that's the paradigm that has it really is the big daddy of the third three-dimensional paradigm the 3d arena and and they have such a hold such a hold on this reality at the moment and uh, the concepts that they're sharing um, you know and I've just talked about it before about the, the the Galactic Federation of Light and the, and that level of extraterrestrial consciousness you know these these are beings who are very tightly um, their awareness is very tightly controlled even though it would wouldn't seem that way to us that they are highly spiritually evolved beings and to some degree they are but the the 4d paradigm is the 4d paradigm and there's a whole universe to explore or to reintegrate with above that so it i still feel that i'm going out on a limb here there, there isn't that many people who are going out there and telling it how it is saying hey guys the the chakra body is just the 4d body you know all these healing modalities uh are just the 4d healing modalities that's all they are mm-hmm. they, they it isn't enlightenment the kundalini going up the spine and hitting the pineal gland is not true enlightenment it's 4d enlightenment mm-hmm. you know so i'm going out on a limb here and uh and it needs to be said and there'll be more and more well i'm you know I'm not making myself to be out the hero. I'm just saying that there are times in life where we need to go out on a limb. Mm-hmm. And all these battles um, or experiences that we had, these um, in, you know, intense in exchanges that we've had with family and with friends throughout our lives, for me, that was, that was training ground. That was preparation. So I can get out and do what I need to do now. And so if we can look at our lives, we look back over our lives and look how you've been prepared, each one of us. And, and you'd be surprised at all the skills you've gained throughout your life and the ones that you have naturally occurring within you are preparing you for what's to come. And if you're still, you know, at that stage where you haven't quite found your mojo yet, spiritually speaking, or <laughs> vo- vocationally speaking, is probably a better way to put it, um, then, you know, very soon you will. And then you'll come to realize that all, all of these experiences and all the skills that you've gained um, will pay off. They will come into play and you'll be drawing on those experiences and the wisdom gained. Okay, George, you brought up two points here. I have two questions and I want to say them now because I want to make sure I don't lose them. One was about moving into 4D, but 4, there's more beyond 4D and I've actually heard the ascension process and enlightenment is actually moving into 5D, and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of like mixed up on the numbers here. So, mm. so don't answer the, don't answer this yet, because I wanted to say this so I don't forget it, because I don't have a piece of paper in front of me to write down a note. It, it sounds to me like you're saying that we're at a point of moving beyond 4D into 5D, which is one place that I've heard, 
And then the other point that I, the other question I have is, what is enlightenment? So I'm going to ask that question first. What's your definition of enlightenment? Because you're saying that 4D, moving into 4D isn't enlightenment. So what's your definition of what is enlightenment? Yeah, well, you can have 4D enlightenment. So you're enlightened further than what, you know, enlightenment is to to be enlightened or to access more light and more knowledge and more awareness and, and more um, more wisdom. But to what degree? So you've got the fourth dimensional paradigm that you access that, um, that range of, of energy in there, that frequency, that paradigm. And then what we have is the fifth dimension, which is a vastly, vastly different vibratory um, expression to the 4D and 3D and 2 and 1D paradigms. The fifth dimensional paradigm is so harmonious in relation to the rest. It is really that the difference is extraordinary. And then, you know, above that you've got six, seven. But what what ascension, what we are ascending to is is much greater than even the 5D. We're just going back there to recenter ourselves to go back to that oneness and harmony because the the body you have in the fifth dimension works off a singular energetic center in the middle of the chest so to to have the seven chakra body is a fragmented state of being that's the 4d body so we're, we're just going there to recenter ourselves reacclimatize and re reintegrate ourselves with the universe on that level and it is in that on that that'll be the platform to prepare for the actual ascension where we compress the all universal um, all of our universal aspects um, into 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 one state of being and it'll be vastly different and then that state of being won't have an energetic center we will just be pure energy an embodiment of pure energy and light it'll be it'll be really quite different Okay, I don't know if so that answers you your know, question. You know, so, 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 what's your take of this progression that we're going through, this path that we're on? You know, having this conversation in probably 3D and 4D. I mean, I feel like I have one foot on the dock and one on the boat, and <laughs> kind of like teetering back and forth between these different <laughs> dimensions. Uh, but uh, and, and so that's what we're doing right now. But are uh, so. What's your take? Is that, you know, come 2012 or 2013 or whatever, are we going to move into fourth or are we going to move into fifth? Or what's your, what's your take on that? Yeah, my take on that is um, we are accessing all of those levels of consciousness now and we are integrating and, and all of those aspects of ourselves we're in the process of making that happen so there's there's days and moments in a the day there'll be a moment where you experience a 5d level of consciousness and awareness and it's incredibly harmonious and wondrous and then there will be the 4d level of awareness and love and, and understanding and then we fluctuate back to the 3d and so my my concept of the way the process will play out is that there's a 5D realm on this planet and in ancient times it's been known as Avalon, Shambhala, Chula, um, many, many names. Okay. It has many names. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not Agatha. Agatha is different. Um, Valhalla is the 5D realm. Okay. Agatha is not. Agatha is a holographic um, reality um, inside the earth. It's an artificial construct. Okay, that's very different. I want to point that out. Um, so the this re reality will be accessible because when we are accessing our 5D cells, that is the vibratory realm that we're accessing. We're accessing our our well, our consciousness um, from that realm. Our high, it's the highest self state of being. We'll get to the point where we physically need to merge with that realm, and that's when openings will appear in this reality. And they'll begin in about 12 months from now. There'll be the odd people that will experience them and start to walk through. Some will come back out to help. Some will stay there. And and that will be the physical integration. Because, you know, the 